welcome back dear students today we are going to study decimal to binary conversion now you have already seen what a decimal number is right you have studied the decimal number system you have already studied the binary number system so let's see how to convert a decimal number decimal number whose base is suppose this 15 its base is 10 to a number which is base uh, a number whose base is 2 which is a binary number so let's study how to convert a decimal number to a binary number let's see the steps the first step is that we will divide the number by 2 why 2 because base of the binary number system is 2 okay base or radix is 2 now up in during the division by 2 we have to continuously write the quotient okay and we have to get all the remainders okay we have to look at the quotient and we will also look at the remainder okay and we have to repeat these steps until the quotient becomes zero these are the steps to convert a, a decimal number to binary number let's look at a example for the same now students look at this example over here the decimal number the given decimal number is 25 whose base is 10 what are we going to do we are going to convert this decimal number 25 to its binary form so what are what are we doing over here look over here see this 25 we are dividing this 25 by 2 okay so when we divide 25 by 2 we get quotient as 12 right and what is the remainder the remainder is 1 yes look at this remainder okay now is the quotient 0 no we have to we have to keep on dividing this number until the quotient becomes 0 so further we are going to divide this 2 uh, this 12 by 2 so when we divide 12 by 2 we again get the quotient as 6 6 to the 12 right so the quotient is now the new quotient is 6 and what is the remainder the remainder is 0 okay because two, because 2 can successfully divide 6 and the remainder becomes 0 then is this 6 0 no so we are going to further divide this with 2 so when we divide this 6 with 2 we get the quotient as 3 and the remainder is again 0 okay again we'll divide this 3 by 2 3 divided by 2 the quotient is 1 the quotient is 1 and the remainder is also 1 now still this quotient is not 0 so we are going to divide this 1 by 2 now what happens when we divide 1 by 2 yes 1 z or uh, 2 zeros are 0 and look at this what is the remainder 1 so when we divide this 1 by 2 we get the quotient as 0 and remainder as 1 now the quotient has become 0 so we will stop dividing it now what are we going to do now how will we write our binary number we'll write the binary number from bottom to up bottom to up so what is the binary equivalent of this decimal number 25 it is 1101001001 to the base 2 okay so this is how we divide a uh, we uh, convert a decimal number into its binary form okay let's take a look at another another example okay here the, there is number 35 the number is 35 the decimal number is 35 so what are we going to oh sorry what are we going to do we are going to divide this 35 by 2 okay so see when we divide this 35 by 2 we get 18 as the quotient and the remainder is 1 right then again we will divide this 18 by 2 we will get the quotient as 9 and remainder as 0 remainder as 0 then further we are going to divide this 9 by 2 so we will get 
the next quotient as 4 and the remainder as 1 because 4 to the 8 so the remainder is 1 next again we are going to divide this 4 by 2 we'll get 2 and the remainder as 0 we'll, then we'll divide this 2 by 2 we'll get the remainder as uh, quotient as 1 and the remainder over here will be 0 then when we divide this 1 by 2 we'll get the quotient as 0 and the remainder as 1 and then again we will follow the bottom up approach so our final uh, decimal number will be 1 0 0 1 0 1 to the base 2 so this is how we convert a this is how we convert a binary number decimal number into its binary form okay let's quickly take one more example let's take a bigger number three digit number see we'll, we are taking 172 so we need to convert 172 to the base 10 into its binary form how will we do that we'll do divide this 172 by 2 we'll get the quotient as 86 okay and the remainder will be 0 then again we'll divide this 86 by this number 2 will get 43 and the remainder will be 0 okay uh, the uh, when we divide the remainder is 0 then we'll get 21 as the quotient yes so again we'll divide this 21 by 2 okay we'll get the new quotient as 10 and the remainder as 1 then we divide this 10 by 2 we get the new quotient as 5 and the remainder as 0 then we divide uh, then we divide this uh, 5 by 2 we get the new quotient as 10 okay new quotient as 2 okay and the remainder as 1 now we'll divide this 2 by 2 then we get the new quotient as 1 and the remainder as 0 okay further dividing this 2 this 1 by 2 we will get will get the new quotient as 0 and the remainder as 1 and now we are going to again follow the bottom up approach we are going from bottom to up so what is the answer 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 so this is our final binary number when we convert 172 to the base oh sorry to the base 10 into binary form we get this as answer okay students now similarly you can convert other decimal numbers into binary see the 73 let's take a four digit number and try to convert it into the binary form so this the the decimal number is 4 2 1 5 to the base 10 okay let's convert this when we divide 4 to 1 5 by 2 the quotient is 2 1 0 7 and the remainder is 1 okay then we will divide this 2 1 0 7 by 2 we'll get the new quotient as 1 0 5 3 and the remainder as 1 again we'll divide this 1 0 5 3 by 2 and we'll get 526 as the new quotient and we'll get remainder as 1 then we'll divide 263 by 2 okay we'll get the new quotient as 131 okay the remainder as 1 okay then we divide this 65 by 2 okay then we'll divide this 65 by 2 we'll get the quotient as 32 and the remainder as 1 then we'll divide this 32 by 2 we'll get the new quotient as 16 and the remainder as 0 okay then we divide this 16 uh, this 8 which was the quotient by 2 and we'll get the remainder as 0 and then we'll divide this 4 by 2 we'll get this as 0 uh, the remainder as 0 
we divide 4 by 2 will get again the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 0 then we divide 2 by 2 will again get 1 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder and then when we divide 1 by 2 will get the quotient as 0 and remainder as 1 again we are going to follow the bottom of approach so the final answer will be 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 to the base 2 okay so this will be our answer so this is how we uh, we uh, convert a binary number a decimal number into its binary equivalent okay students in the next lecture we will study how to convert a binary number how to convert a binary number to its decimal okay till now we have studied decimal to binary in the next lecture we'll study how to convert from binary to decimal thank you for listening have a great day students take care of yourself and be well thank you